Hi, I'm John John. First ever screen debut. Come on! So yeah, I played Aaron in this epic project, and yeah, it was very very banging, and I hope everyone enjoyed it. I'm Jordan Aloy. I played the role of Sean in this project, and I had so much fun. <laughs> I'm Sammy. Um, I did a little bit of the camera, mic, and I was an extra as well. Um, yeah, hope everyone enjoyed. The sound was good. I'm Stazzy. So I'm just happy with what everyone's achieved, but also the message that we're trying to send out to everyone else. So I hope everyone's taken in and everyone had a good time. Um, yeah. uh, my name is Shorter Smith. I'm the founder of Ambitious Academy. Uh, um, it's just been a pleasure to just be part of this journey. I mean, growing up on a state like ours, We've always dreamt, or personally myself, we've always dreamt to do something different and even create a movie. So to see it how it is now, see Ash up there, he's not trying to come down if he's still up there. I was he's meant to be big one. He done a better job than he I could have been, man. He done a better job still. But yeah, man, I just appreciate everyone. Everyone, all of these young people that you see up here um, have been very dedicated over the whole time that we've done it. Yeah, little legs here and there, but everyone's come and put forward for this journey. Everyone's taken time out of their day and come and done something constructive. And I believe the message in this film is very deep at a moment like this when we're seeing a lot of stuff happen with our young people. I'm not gonna get too deep into it, I think we all know. But um, hopefully this, this movie will resonate with, with people that are going through similar situations where it could teach them some lessons. So appreciate everyone coming out today. And yeah, thank you. Things have happened, 
Um, for example, Emmanuel, the youngest member to ever join Fully Focused in history. <laughs> and uh, we've already starred in a film at <laughs> Fully Focused. So yeah, big shout out to you for that. Jordan as well, he's already started a film. Join Fully Focus as well. And he's going on to do great things already. John John obviously got a part in Shira's story too. Shout out Rock Man in the building. Shout out Japan in the building. Hey, hey. Obviously Kyle couldn't be here. He's wanted at the moment. He's laying low. Um, but yeah, to, for, I mean, for me to see you acting alongside um, Michael Dapper and Conan, do you know what I mean? That's, oh, already, already, already. Um, also, uh, Josh and Jordan got into Ashley Waters Drama School Kingdom as well. You guys like that? Josh, you have got um, a leading role in Top Boy. Stazzy, Stazzy designed the poster, Stazzy designed font, Stazzy, um, a lot of the, all the artwork you saw in Big Mo's flat, that was Stazzy's work. He's an amazing, amazing artist. And um, during the time in this project, um, Stazzy's work was um, at an exhibition at MNC Saatchi as well, which is mad. Um, Levi, I see Levi with a camera in his hand and he's smiling. He's smiling and to see that, for me, that's everything. Do you know what I mean? And how much you um, went in with the camera as well. That's a positive, a very, very positive thing. And Sammy, to see Sammy pick up the, the, the boom for the first time, come down to the sound mix, get involved, do some ADR as well with um, Jordan. And yeah, there's just a few, there's just a little few of the things. So imagine if that's happened already, um, what's gonna happen next? Amazing, right? Amazing. Everyone's hands are going to get tired today. Um, so we're going to go into a Q&A, but just before we do that, could every single person that played a part in this film, whether it's cast or crew, can you come up to the stage, please? Because I want you to see how many people it takes. Everybody up, please. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going! Shazia, that's you too! Don't try and hide. See Shazia the right time. Chad, Sam, Mitza, the man and I will just come from in. Fordia, one day Fordia acting, the next day she was up and running. It's Leah who produced. Director of photography, shot 18, shot TV, shot so many things. See you around, make sure everyone is looking sneaky with makeup. Make sure you're doing the here, while at the same time doubling as an extra with a big husband in a prison with a cram. That's, that's how it works, one minute, you know, you're doing one role and then you're doing another. And any first AC, assistant camera, awesome job, clapping the board, keeping us smiling. See you behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, director in the own right as well. Cat was third AD. Were you third AD? Runner. Cat was running one of your first running jobs, right? Did an amazing job. Shaz was a fantastic Holly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did a beautiful job. As I said, this is the screenwriter Shazia. Some man was short in there, Mark. This is Jake who managed to get into every single fully focused film that we made. He was also responsible for the behind the scenes. Is Ashley here? No. no. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Um, anyone else that is, should be up here that's hiding? Where's Alex Simpson? My guy, where are you? Alex Simpson. He's probably uploading the, the next one. Yeah. So this is only, I would say, about a that 40% of who was involved in the film. Obviously Nick, the, the producer Nick, who's the co-founder of Fully Focused, he is on holiday. And I said I'd FaceTime him, but I've got no service. 
Yeah, where's Yande? Yande, you should be up on the stage. Don't try it. Come on. Come on. Might have caught Yande on the bus. First year one stream roll as well. How hot was that bus? Bacon. Absolutely bacon. Okay, while we're all here, before we go to the Q&A and some people take a seat. Say again. Arnold! Arnold, why are you laughing? I said all the cars are free! Get down here, mate! Come on, mate! Yes, Arnold! We had to draw you out, sorry. <laughs> no, man, you, you played a very important role. You played a very important role in it. Alright, so while we're all here, does anyone want to kick off some questions? Yes. What was, it, what was it that started? Why were they is chasing even mics? Why were they chasing oh, in the first place? Right? Sorry. Oh, okay. What's just so it? everyone can hear you, don't want to miss. Yeah. I just wanted to know what was the beef at the beginning? Why were they being. Uh, chase it. Oh, that's a secret. Is that going to be in part two or something? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I time this is in part two. I mean, I think it was it was touched on when um, Aaron and Jacob had an argument, and he had said that they were chasing him because he got out. So there's something oh, in that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back story. Back story. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't pass it to facts behind you. So I want to know, um, how come you guys decided to do it now for this day? That's where we're from. That's where we're from. Because that's where we're from. That's where we originated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we started. We started. Um, we started on the stage. That's where we were actually come from. Well, not all of us, but um, most of us. Ambitious Academy. The students that are from Ambitious Academy. That's where they're mainly from. Um, Elf on the stage, and that was home. And I mean, we've always wanted to do something from where we come from and to have so much people come, it's climbing over. At least it came home to us, eh? Um, but yeah, to have like people, oh no, you know, Percy, Arnold, Asher, everyone that like, just, the industry coming to your doorstep is actually, uh, mate, you're up and coming, sunshine, you get it one time, mate. John, John is well to add on to it. So, but you know, to have the industry come to somewhere where it's your community and it's your home, it's on your doorstep, it's a very unique thing. Um, and I'm happy we've done it on the health of the state. Very happy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, I'd just like to say I just spent half an hour on the edge of my seat. So that was well stressful. Thank you very much. And inspiring. Thank you. And fantastic to watch. Thank you. Thank you. Question. My question is: Xavier, you made it for the second screen. Oi, oi, yeah, oi. Oi. Shout out, Xavier! You guys saw him in there, took the punch. He wasn't gonna take it again. He wasn't gonna take it again. That's why he was hiding out on the bike. And we saw the abs as well. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> my question is, and perhaps just to hear from two or three of you, what next? Since he's the up and coming one, he's running off now, look. They've got big plans. Come on, who's going to stay with your chest? I know you've all got big plans. Josh, um... Plans are probably, oh. Okay, so his plans are not to be spoken of, so, um, yeah, I mean, with, with Ambitious, I mean, we started up, it's totally different to the film, but we started different projects with that, but I mean, in regards to the film, hopefully we can, you know, keep the momentum rolling. I mean, a lot of the young people, regardless of whether they was actually taking part in the film that was just locally around the area whilst we were filming, the amount of them that have come after and said, look, you want to be in another one if you're ever doing one again, which for me, that's just a, it's key right now, man. So hopefully we can just, you know, continue on with either short films or web series to continue on, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we'll work something out. I know you've got some good stuff to say. Obviously, Taylor really touched on it a bit. 
man he's gone on and starred in his own short film, Johnny starred in Showers, um, Stanley, like me, but he's passing, he's passing, obviously, so far, before it even came out, I was already, I already starred in a, another short film called Too Proud to Beg, make sure you watch out for that, so that's um, and yeah, we're all just looking forward to making a career out of it, really, none of us were actors before this, now we can all say we're actors. Well, that's awesome. yeah. what, um, Jordan, what would you, or Manny and any of you guys, what would you like to see happen with this film? A prequel. A prequel. Oh, part two. That's you. Honestly, who would like to see part two? There we go. So it's part two as well. I think also part of this is um, a lot of it will be to do with follow up so making sure that everything's going right in the drama schools that th uh, some of the young people have got into. Um, creating new projects hopefully, like John John said, hopefully we get a prequel, maybe a sequel as well, but we'll see, we won't say too much yet. And um, yeah, hopefully it sends the right message out there. We just want to make sure that everyone's sort of on the same page, like this, the message for this film is to just remain yourself, you get much more respect that way. And um, yeah, just don't get too unhappy. Yeah. Uh, for, for me, this is just the beginning. You know, the world hasn't even seen um, the film yet. The sky's the limit for what we can do. We want to carry on um, running projects on L4, and we're working on that now so that we can carry on weekly. Um, Shorten does such amazing work, like amazing, amazing work. So if we can add to that and keep building on what we've started, keep making films, keep growing and keep developing, um, yeah, this for me is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, what about you, Jack? I know you, 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 there's some things you'd really like to see with this. Yeah, is that one? Yeah, go on. Please put the mic on. This guy, this guy, just before he goes on, he's an absolute legend. Absolute legend! Absolute legend! Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the movie. Um, maybe just to give a context behind it. So, um, as I said before, working in partnership with Shorten and Teddy has been a real pleasure. Um, but the young people as well, you know. Um, as Arsenal, we've been working with some of these boys for six, seven years. Um, some of that's through football, but a lot of this off the pitch as well. Um, obviously based in Islington. All of this was filmed in Islington as well. Uh, Most of it on the Elf one, as was said, but also some other locations as well. Um, and Islington really has a side that does very well for itself mm. and a side that sort of struggles a little bit more as well. And unfortunately, the Elf one is one of those areas on the second side of that. So really, um, some of the guys have obviously struggled in the past, but one way of overcoming that is by offering them some opportunities. Um, and I think this opportunity has really sort of um, given them some confidence and sort of um, springboard to go on to bigger and better things. Um, so the guys have done really well. I'm re we're really proud of them. And they're obviously going on to, you know, the sky's the limit. But also, obviously, we want to see more young people watch this and educate them around some of the, the pitfalls in the movie. So, yeah, there's a lot to come. Um, we're excited for the next chapter. And, um, yeah, again, well done to everybody involved. Yes. Hey guys, I think you guys done really well. So first of all, this was amazing. I think it's so current. So my question is for Jasmine and the guy who strangled her. So what's the involvement between Jasmine and the What's her name? Oh, it's not here. I thought it's him with the dreads. Oh. I thought your hair grew, boy. <laughs> okay, sorry. But anyways, Jasmine, what was the involvement between the guy and I was strangled you and yourself. Like, what was the history? Because I just saw him strangling you. Um, so, thank you. Um, so, Straps was, I guess, my plug. Um, Jasmine's character, she was quite powerful in the film, I'd say. She would um, make fake cards, get beats with people, and um, buy his phones and sell them, whatever. So, Straps was essentially like her dealer. Um, so, her box, in a way. Um, so that's the reason why he found out that I did speak to Jacob, so that was why he strangled me. Hashtag straps! Thank you. Straps, yeah. So obviously that was a, a very um, harsh scene. Yeah. 
which we all talked about for a long time, brought it around the table quite a few times um, before we even decided on, on how it was all going to work. And then there was a lot of rehearsal with fight coordinators and um, all the other stuff. But what we really felt was important was it's such a serious issue mm -hmm. and it's not really spoken about and it's going on obviously every single day and it had to be harsh. There was no way to gloss over a situation like that. Um, domestic violence is obviously a problem, a big problem. And so in tackling something that's, that has that much weight and severity, it had to be as harsh as it was. But we're hoping that it can also spark some conversations and to hopefully help people who may be in the situation to reach out and tell someone about it. Yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's on the stage right now and everyone behind the scenes. Those of you who know me, my name is Jay Carter and I grew up getting drawn out on Elf on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so, so most of them seen there was filmed like I'm short in my yard. <laughs> Outside my house where I grew up kicking ball and you know what I'm saying? So it was like quite emotional for me actually. And like just coming here and going for an emotional couple of days and that just brought me like a lot of healing, so it was beautiful, like timing of everything and like everything happens in God's plan, you know what I'm saying? So just want to say a big thank you for ambitious for having me. see the hand of God in our life and you know as we're pulling through and we're getting stronger every day. Um, for I just had a little bone to pick though, why didn't I know about this? And if there's a the next one, <laughs> I've got to be in it so he's not got to shout me up, yeah? But yeah, thank you everyone.
think to answer the question as well, obviously this this um, project was started off by the young people and they've actually created it. So it's their influence, it's their harsh reality that they possibly could have seen or could have been through. So it's, it's not something that's, that we, I guess, had problems with recreating, but it's something that we definitely wanted to put in our film so we can push out a positive message and flip that. Um, we originally started off of watching the back of Channel 5's um, ganglands and realising that, look, they're just glorifying the negative. There's no um, positive solution. There's no conclusion what it's providing on the TV. And I said, we all sat down and we said, look, let's push our, our message and our positive thing through our own film. If they're not going to give it out through the media, we'll do it our way. So, yeah, that's what we have to do. Yeah, I just wanted to say that um, there's this thing where young people feel like they need to take everything on their shoulders, and I feel like Jacob is like he's one of those um, he's one of those young people that feels like he's obligated to take care of his little brother, he's obligated to take care of the household and be the man of the household. But there's nothing wrong with embracing pain. There's nothing wrong with that because pain is what shapes us. Pain once you come through that situation where it was hard. That's what, that's what makes you different from everyone else. Everyone else that had that easy life, you know, they've been riding through it. It, it makes you different, it definitely does. And um, throughout this project, I was going through a difficult situation. Like, I found out, like, not too long ago, that my mom had cancer and she, she had two of her breasts removed. And it was, it, it, like, because that was, like, my, she was my pillar. Mm -hmm. And, like, to come here, like, I was, I was so quiet on set. And these lot just kept bringing it out of me, like, shorts, stazzy, like, John John, all of them. Like, I couldn't keep quiet around them, but you know what, like, that's, that's what it's about. It's not running away from the situation. It's embracing pain. And I like, I want everyone to just not forget all the gassy bits, like all the guns and all of that. Just like take the message in and you know, just like hopefully take some inspiration from it. Yeah. This will be the last, last, yeah, last because we've got loads of people outside as well, which is a beautiful blessing. Yeah, I just, I just thought it was an important point to raise because obviously the film is special, but I think one of the things that makes it special is how those scenes were actually developed. So we had workshops weekly in St. John's Community Centre on the old form talking about what these young people feel was important. So the scenes where um, Big Mo was talking about illegal or illegal money, that was talked about, that was discussed, and reflected on. The scenes around, you know, um, straps, assault in Jasmine. Um, the effect that siblings who are involved in, in crime can have on their younger siblings, the role of absent parents or parents, you know, who are not caring for their children. All those things were discussed, so it wasn't and just... And like that, no matter what you go through, you can get out. 100%. But, you know, it, it, was, it was for the group as well to discuss it and actually give their points of view around these, these very, very important issues. And I think for me, um, and it's not really important, but I haven't really got <laughs> like you guys, but... Um, you know, I think that's really important to give young people a space to actually think about these things and talk about them, and then to be able to express it through something as creative as this is, um, is what makes it special. So guys, um, we are going to have the second screening now, so I just wanted to thank every single one of you for coming in. There's an exit this side.